So hi, folks. Welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner. It's only a game where we talk to Jason Mariner, the legend who is over in Thailand. And I see that you're you're not topless today, Jason. On purpose, Sam. On purpose. I can't I can't treat these people all the time. But <laughs> although it is still really warm, yeah, my beach uh, for is. I'll probably leave you and then just jump in a swimming pool that's in my front garden. You know what I mean? Uh, do you think people are going to be? Uh disappointed that they're not seeing you you know topless today or do you think it's going to be devastated, a, a... devastated is the word not not disappointed devo <laughs> <laughs> well folks i don't got... think so do you i don't think so but anyway no you're probably right the, uh, the old churchills you know what i mean Churchill ah, sort of. you see then of course you're going to get stick because of the shirt that you're actually wearing you, you can't really win can you listen don't matter what you do what you say where you are who you with you can't win so it's irrelevant don't matter that's it. Well, I've got loads of questions, loads of questions. We've got subscriber questions. And as you know, if you want to see part two of this uh, podcast, if you want to call it that, uh, you go over to Liam Galvin's channel at the end of this first 15, 20 minutes. So I think this is quite a good one, this question here. Stefan Danielson, great podcast, boys. Does Jason remember the very first thoughts he had when he got his six years? Was he angry or panicked or uh, how were you at that particular moment? I said to the judge, didn't I? I said, because I'd done, I'm, me being me, Larry. I said, it ain't that bad. I'll get out on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what day you get out, does it? Do you know what I mean? No. Sunday would do, like any day would do, although they can't let you out on weekends. No. Um, no, in fairness, I'll tell you what I did think, if I'm if I'm being really honest with you. But at the time, let me tell you, six, near, six was nearer to ten than it was to five. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it's a result. But, a result six was nearer to ten, Liam, than it was to five. Yeah, right? it wasn't a result, was it? How's it a result? Fucking hell, you get you, <laughs> well, get, you get nonsense. That, that Liam, I was yeah. away with a geezer, a bacon, yeah, an elder, a elder girl hostage who got seven years. So yeah. that means he would have done six years, six months more than me. I don't call that a result, Liam. For no, a bit, no, we're, what remember. I'm saying is, but what, anyway, what were you expecting? They can't expect anything, anything up to a tent to pay trophy this and think. But, but in fairness, what had happened was I think I'd done something like <clears throat> 13 or 14 months <clears throat> on the mound mm-hmm. or something like that. So how I looked at that is I thought, well, I'm a court away for it already. Do you know what I mean? So look, it, well, it was what it was. I knew it could have been better, but I yes. knew it could have been worse. So as simple as that. Look. It was, the, um, as my QC said, it was the most pro- high-profile case yes. of that year, right? Yes. So, and and all the time, every time you've got a high-profile case, whoever it may be, you know what I mean, you, you're in the public eye. Yes. So they've got to be seen to even do more than, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so you're always going to get, you're always going to get more because if you like the, the old chocolate fudge is going to show off or do whatever they they going to do or do you know what I mean? So so you're up against it. So um, it's the well, what did that, um, uh, well, well, did you have big concerns about you know your your family and stuff like that? Because actually, if we go into this a bit deeper, I mean, you lost your whole business and everything, didn't you? Uh, so there was there was quite devastating results from all of that. Yeah, 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 and of course, and the people think you know they they. they, they they think they know that they, you know, seeing a, a documentary, they think that 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 they be yeah, but of course, but um, yeah, well, I had a couple of recovery trucks, but um, you know, obviously stood me in the right few quid and what have you, and they got eventually they got took off the off the road because the taxes run out, so the council took them, crushed them eventually, bump bump bump, not so I've done chunks of dough in in thingy and whatever. But listen, I was always a market trader as well, so thing and the and the. the and the and the, as whatever, as most people know the the tire shop was a yeah obviously I wanted to earn money out of it but it was mm-hmm. a, another sideline to the, you know numerous things that I was doing and whatever so but yeah I did I did lose a chunk and what have you and uh, but my family nah it's like it is what it is isn't it listen but they're, but they're, they're all fucking nuts my family so don't make it <laughs> so when, when you when you get a six do you immediately think oh actually. I'm only going to do three, or is, is that's well, not a guarantee? It, it, look, it, it, look, Liam, everyone's different. Do you know what I yeah. mean? As, as I say, as I said to you, without being fucking funny, yeah. six is nearer to ten than it is to five at that present time. 
Yes. But, you know, two minutes later, you, 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 you think, right, it's, right, okay, right. You know, I, I, where I was, it was quite a long walk back down to the cells and what have you. And, what, and uh, uh, I'd also been given, I also got a 20 year. Uh, football band, right? Yes. Uh, but the maximum you the maximum you can get is ten years. Yes. And um, unless the the actual club ban you, yeah. not every club's going to ban. The only club that would would have banned me was uh, would have been Chelsea who came back, and they didn't. So they didn't follow that through. So I got to, so then they had to rectify that because the judge gave me a twenty year ban. And then Hats in my QC stood up, and Michael Walcott, and rectified it, and uh, uh, we got it down to the. The maximum was 10, so that's what I got at 10. But so by that, that time, you've, yeah, I certainly weren't worried about the band. I mean, fuck me. Well, I'm going to do the, the majority of the band when I'm in the shovel, and I? So that, that's a red bunch, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, but then then all of a sudden, you, you start trying to work out. You start thinking, well, hold on a minute. I've done, I've done a year plus. I've done 13, 14 months. Bump, bump, bump. Fucking hell, you know. Yeah. Another 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 forty month I could be in an open nick for argument's sake. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. You, you, like, uh, also, I know it sounds mad and it's it's a massive saying in the nick and all that, but like people like people are like uh fucking well, at least I know what I'm doing now. I can get on with it, I can move forward, I can try and progress, I can yeah. do you know what I mean? It's not because how how, I, how long is it is it, it held over your head? Before you, well, it, it all depends on your case, mate. It all depends yeah. on your case. It all depends on, you know, what, what you're up for, what what it is, whether you go guilty, whether you don't go guilty, how long your trial's going to be. You know, you'll be, you 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 could be booked in to go to court one day, and all of a sudden you get you get. I oh, know you ain't going to court today. Uh, um, the um, the judge is booked. He, he forgot he's playing golf that day. I'm oh, oh. fucking sorry about that. I sit in myself another day. Then while you carry on and have a nice day. <laughs> How do you actually cope? I know we're doing a long question here about Stefan. Stefan's doing the whole podcast here. Um, how do you sort of cope with that thought that you're, you're actually going to be locked up? Do you know what I mean? Is, is that... I don't, I, don't, I don't think you do. I don't think you do think about it. I think you just got to get on with it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you do think about it. Do you know what I mean? You just... You just... It's the hazards of the job, isn't it? Look, yeah. you know, to be a man, you've got to act like a man. And, and you've but got to get on with see... it. So what can... Do you see other prisoners and stuff like that losing it because they can't hack it at all? Oh, listen, I think we've had, we've had this before. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen some good people buckle in there. Yeah. Listen, look, look, and that's not fucking taking anything away from anyone. Let, let, let's let's be really honest about it. Mm -hmm. You have a bad day living living on the out, didn't you? So you're going to so you're going to have a bad day on the in. It's as yeah. simple as that. So you always, you know, you have to be a bit shrewd and a bit clever. I'll give you a prime example. Here's one for you. Although he split up as me, I won't mention it, but a couple of my good pals that was on big VAT full charges, right? But I knew them there at South London, big boats, big faces, right? One of them was no longer with us, right? Bless him, right? But my pal, another pal of mine, Ray, right? He, uh, Kate, there's plenty of reddits, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. And he's come back from a visit, and I went, oh, mate, good visit. And you, you automatically say it. You don't you know? And he's he had this prison pallor colour mm -hmm. on his face, and he had, and I, I got them the jobs on the hot plate, you know. Even though I was banged up in my cell all the time, you know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you I, never I, left the cell. I, I know them, that. I got them. I got I got them the jobs on it because I ended up number one on the hot plate, like months in the boss ends, right? Which I didn't want, but it ended up being working it out all right for me. So I got got them the job. Anyway, it's come back. I went sweet, wait, good visit because we're now just about to serve lunch, right? He looks at me like that. He went. Worst ever, Jason. He went, this is worse than my sentence. I said, what's the matter? He said, listen. He said, obviously, we had to take folds, boom, boom, boom. Bit of Arnie mold. He said, they fucking, they, 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 they want all the laptops. They want all this, that, and that. He said, so I got hold of my missus, told her to get hold of these laptops. He said, she's got hold of them. This, that, and that. He said, but one of them, he said, she's got into her, and this, and she's just been uh, looking in at one of them. He said, there I am with a treat, or on a big yacht in the south of France with another bird and all that stuff. He said, I'll grasp myself up. <laughs> so they, we ended up having a divorce and fucking do you know what I mean and thinking you know so you, you have to be you you just don't know what so, you know what I mean all of a sudden someone comes out and they say like oh, everything alright mate no not really but like so and so died or boom 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 you, you're treading on edge you know what I mean you just don't know but you automatically ask and you don't realise it's a bit like on the outside in life it's all very well people bullying in 
keyboard warriors or this or that. Well, they don't know what people are physically, mentally going through. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah, know, absolutely. I think one of the things that I think would freak me out. I mean, did you ever have to uh, share a cell? Because that that must be difficult. Yeah, well, you don't know get, who you're going to be in with. Yeah, but what happens is you post six and as it follows you, they you end up. But you, you haven't got this. Uh, uh, sometimes there's no choice. When it's overcrowded, yeah, yeah, you, you, you're too, you're too up. Normally they will try and play the game. It's like when me and Andy, when we went, can we bang up together? Do you know what I mean? So you bang yeah. up with your mate and what have you. Doesn't always work out for the best for some people. If the truth is to be known, yeah, uh, yeah. But some, but some, it, but, but you know, you, you at least you're with you with your power. You've got something to talk about, or whatever, or you're on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? But all of a sudden. Or you're banged out with, with, with a brass monkey. So you put wind up with a junkie, right? There's a raving smackhead mm. all night. He's up and down, climbing the thing. He's scratching. He can't sleep. He fucking things. Nicks your fucking, your back. You know, you're up against it all the time. Yeah. But if you've got a, your thing, you work your ticket, you end up or you, you just, you want a single cell. That's what you want. But maybe, yeah. then no, I don't know people that don't want single cells. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Whereas I love a single cell. No, I love a single cell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, but you know what I mean. Like, if I've got the choice, I want a single Peter. That's why I want a single cell. Right. Well, we're going to try. Uh, that, that was fantastic. Um, uh, really interesting. So we, we'll do some more subscriber yeah. questions now. Grasses and nonsense exposed. Would you have a one-on-one -on -one with McIntyre in the boxing ring? Mate, I've had a, I've had a fucking lot worse one-on-ones with people worse than fucking McIntyre. That's what I can tell you. Do you know what I mean? Would so you like one to? Lost all form, would you like to? No, 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 no I don't want to say. Listen. Everyone else drives their self mad about him. He's not in my vocabulary. He's yeah. not in my head. I live 6,000 miles away in the sun, in, in paradise, loving life. Why he's still being a wino? Because let's have it right, the kids in our key. There's no dosser, right? And that's not being a bit of twister or this, that, and now, but that's what he is. Listen, just people, we're worse fucking people than him, but you know what I mean? But obviously, people only see what they saw and this, that, and the other. So, and I understand that. That's you know, that's what that's what the thing is, though. Um, so, I certainly fucking ain't going to buckle from someone like him, am I? Do you know what I mean? No, right now, Gary T. Uh, he wants to know, Jason, have you ever done any yoga and meditation? Are you like one of these calm, zen-like people? Do I do I look like a yoga? Listen, please leave me alone. Though. Although a good mate of mine, a good mate of mine who fucking who could have a turn out and what could have around my. He, he, he's more blind by yoga in this area, but I ain't into all that, you know what I mean? I'm fucking too hyper for do you know what I mean? So, no, not a bit, mate, thank you very much. So, uh, Jason Martin Ashley, he said, you got bashed up at Sunderland, and I remember it, your firm got stuffed and sent on your way. You were beaten, beaten you were, Jason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but me, me personally, Liam, or That's what all it of says. us? Or, yeah, or... you got bashed up big time. I got bashed up. Let me know me a long time, mate. If I got bashed up, I'd certainly tell you. Yeah. Uh, we actually done exceptionally well that night. But we was in total, so listen, you're talking about the 80s. It was very organised. Was We had a colossal firm at the time. You know, times have changed. I've got no bones, you know, thing in, in admitting that. That's the way it is. Um, we come out of a, a, a station called Seaburn. We took a left on the right hand side was a boozer called the Blue Bells. Absolutely annoyed, annihilated the Blue Bells. I must admit though, on the way out, on the way out after the game, which we got beat, the replay was six days later. That that was a Wednesday night. The replay was mad, didn't it? You remember fucking thirty odd years ago? I can't remember yesterday. But the replay was six days later. It was on a Tuesday. West Ham played at, at Wimbledon on the Tuesday night, and we uh, we ended up that 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 was fucking mental as well because we was at Wimbledon it was at uh, Parsons Green Station waiting for them to come in at that murders them at Sunderland Sunderland Sports will tell you any Sunderland Sports that will you know old school will admit the scenario the same as me and whatever but what I will say is when we come out we we you know people started getting a bit split up and this that and the other and fucking thing and it, it was a bit airy to be fucking truthful because we'd had a, 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 a good a good uh turn out on the on the way there and uh took fucking thousands or whatever and no one likes that no you know fucking no one likes that do you know what i mean yeah so, well, you uh, so they was up for it after as well i mean there was fighting all the way all the way through the game as well with the old bill and that. it was mental it was a fucking it was a fantastic night it was mental <laughs> well elwood <laughs> elwood 1965 he said it was the best night of football violence he ever had 
The return game is coach got wrecked, hardly a window left in at all uh, on the way back from Chelsea, back to Sunderland. He said it was effing freezing. Right, right. Well, there you go. So he's obviously a Sunderland supporter because, as he knows, the windows went through and this, yeah. that, and ever. I mean, it, it, look, there was no old Bill, old Bill was. There was, they wasn't up to speed of what they are now. So they used to park the uh, coaches round by the roads. Mm-hmm. And then they used to have to walk them. Well, what they do now is they park them right outside the grounds. Yeah. So, 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 you know, to fucking go in the ground and come out, they get on their coach and whatever, do you know what I mean? So, it's yeah. but them days they used to walk them, so it'd be fucking colossal. And people used to be on the streets and just put them winners through. And he's six, uh, he was born in, uh, I'm presuming he was born in 65, which makes him 57 years old. Whoa. So, as I said to you, as I just said to you mm-hmm. before, uh, you even told us to mention that question. Any proper Sunderland supporter who's a bit older and gone through the ranks and whatever will admit it. L- listen, will admit the fucking the, the coups. Do you know what I mean? So Absolutely. fair play to him, but yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. How, how, uh, you know, at their ground and at our ground. Sounds like a, a fun night for you guys there. So, um, right, Peter Super M. smashing greatly in them days. It was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I think I might have been running. I might be running out of the way of you boys, I think. Uh, no, one says, no one said oh, that ain't never happened to me, do you know what I mean? But on yeah. that particular night, that, that I got bashed up, but I didn't get bashed up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, it was I, him. Uh, Maybe it was Elmwood 65 who was bashing you. No, no, I think I think what he's done is probably probably read another book or spoke to one of his pals or something. Or he probably, yeah. probably wasn't there. Right, Peter M. Can you ask Jason to talk about uh, bus stop killer Levi Belfield. Because uh, he believes... Levi, yeah. You, yeah, you believes that you may have known him. Oh, no, I know Levi fucking very well, Blim. An absolute, an absolute dog of a man. Well, he ain't a man. He ain't a man. But for people that don't know or people don't remember, Levi Belfield's the one that killed uh, Millie Dowler with, uh, with a hammer attack and that. And um, I think they put a few more down. They, 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 there's certainly another one, but one on Twickenham Green, one in, in Hampton, uh, Hampton Court sort of way, I believe as well. I think they've put a couple more down to him as well. But I mean, listen, I know the fellow as well, so he's just a travelling boy as well. Um, he fucking, he, like, he used to come to my yard all the time. And he, do you know what, Levi, he always wanted to be someone. But he couldn't be around my area it's full of gypsies, thieves, and tramps. You know what I mean? It, you know, it was off. It was a rough area. It was, a, you know, some some lovely, lovely, but like, people. And they don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I keep growing up all my life and whatever and thing. But you know, to be someone, you got to be someone. You know, to be a man, you got to act like a man. Well, he's he certainly sure is shown his. But it's funny, and it? it always that reminds me of things like you don't know what's going through people's heads. You know what I mean? Even with these these side of bullying people and these this and I'm not talking about the, the, the killers out there but you know you can you can be playing with someone's emotions that moment you don't know what's going through it I know this case I mm. know what's an absolute dog I mean you lay with dogs you get fleas he is an absolute dog mm-hmm. um, I, 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 I'm led to believe he's turned to uh, Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't, they don't have better food can't do this can't do that scream from the top get, get, gets to go a a prayer on a, on a Friday afternoon instead of doing a bang up and do you know what I mean just mongrels absolutely his geese is a mongrel he's an absolute mongrel always wanted to be someone he used to work on the door I know who we worked on the door with and all that they never rated him at all mm-hmm. um, he couldn't really he couldn't have a round label you know he was, he was a unit to be fair he was quite a big unit but, yes. you know that, that don't mean that you can have him think and uh, yeah an absolute dog I've done. listen do you know what the truth of it is for, for the people, for the families that are involved in this, that and other, we shouldn't be giving this man time of day. We shouldn't, the, 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 we shouldn't be giving him the breath out of our bodies. No, uh, I agree. Our I agree. He's an absolute dog. He's a slag. He's a it's slag. the Absolutely. old death penalty job. But I'm afraid to say, I'm afraid to say, yes, I did know Levi. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't want to know him. I don't want to. I, 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 uh, I, hope, I hope he gets cancer in his throat. I hope he dies of a, a very painful death. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, Jason, uh, this is from Michael O'Riordan. Are you going to do anything for St. Patrick's Day in your bar? No, I doubt I'll even go to my bar, St. Patrick's Day. No, no, listen. Uh, no, I won't. Listen, there's enough bars around here. I'm doing, I've got to do on Tuesday for the 12th of July. I've got Orange Man's Day. Um, uh, just like 
on St. Patrick's Day, there's plenty of bars over here doing whatever they're doing for St. Patrick's Day. But I won't be doing anything, um, but I will be celebrating our culture and our history on Tuesday. And in actual fact, um, David C. says, what time is the meet-up on the 12th at Churchill's? Well, Dave, it's um, it's 4pm, but to be truthful, we'll probably be there earlier. So from, from 2, 3, 2, 3 o'clock, to be honest, mate, we'll probably Fantastic. get there earlier. Because it's a big Buddha day on the 13th and the 14th, which means there's no alcohol allowed to be sold in Thailand at all. So 12 o'clock that night. Mm-hmm. Every bar has to be shut because five past 12, you're now in a big good day. But that don't mean we don't know a place. <laughs> right, we're almost there. Last question. Uh, nothing against you, Jace. So that's nice to know. Um, uh, but do you rate the lads who fight for Millwall and do you like Bermondsey? Millwall F Troop, undefeated since 1973. <laughs> See, why did he have to finish like that? It's just everyone's been defeated, do you know what I mean? All of us has. Yeah, you know, I've got some good pals over, over Bermondsey. Of course, I've got some great pals over Bermondsey. Um, yeah, and, I, and I've got some fantastic Millwall pals, you know what I mean? They've been my pals for years. Matter of fact, one of their old, old school comes over here. He's talking about retiring over here, which would be nice. Um, uh, spoke with him only two days ago. Um, but yeah, I've got some good pals over there. Listen, look, you know, this, they, they earn their stripes in the day, they're all absolutely one million percent. They earn their stripes. Simple yeah. as that. Do you know, you know um, like- Jason, I'm, I'm undefeated since 73 as well, you know. Yeah, but you ain't had a fight. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, let me tell you, yeah. I'm not. I'm no, right. not. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably the right thing. <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, do you want to say anything to your subscribers before we pass over to my channel, Liam Galvin channel, where Jason's going to be looking at the news? Anything you want to say before you head off, Jason? All I'd like to say is, listen, I want people to keep their spirits up in England. I mean, they're talking about stupid things like lure pack battle have gone up. But I don't think the recession's kicked in yet uh, over there. I think it's going to be a tough few years, if I'm being really honest with you. And that's why I've always said, see all the people we see on the way up, you see on the way down. So be nice to them people on the way up, because you never know when you need them on the way down. I mean, over here, Liam, I'm not being funny. I know it's expat, you know, you go to expat shops. Lure pack battle, it's £20, mate. Really? 20 pounds. I mean, that's yeah, but that's because it's been sent over and this and never. The price of prices of things over here have gone up. Listen, I, this is how I look at it things over here have probably gone up, say, like by 15 20 pounds a month maximum here, a, a week, sorry, here maximum. But in England, I bet they've gone up by 100 quid a, a week, and that is just terrible. It's disgusting. So, everyone, stay positive, keep going, keep chipping away, and please enjoy your life. Don't put off what you're going to do tomorrow. If you can do it today, do it today, don't do it tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you soon. Whoosh. So, guys, switch over to Liam Galvin's channel and Jason's going to be doing some more.